Hi there, and welcome to today's psalm. We're going to be looking at Psalm 145. Um, I'm going to read it, and then we'll uh, we'll think through what how this is going to inform our prayer life. So, Psalm 145. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. They tell of the power of your awesome works. And I will, med- I will proclaim your great deeds. They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All your works praise you, Lord. Your faithful people extol you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and give them, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him and to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him but the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. Following Jesus isn't just about you. It's not It's not like an individual thing. Um, it's really important that we keep our eyes fixed on that. The idea that um, following Jesus is a team sport, it's something that we do together. Like encouragement is such an important part of um, following Jesus. I think this psalm, particularly the beginning of it, really brings that out and, and and encourages me to kind of think about that. Um, one generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty and I will meditate on your wonderful works. It, it's really challenging for me to think about how um, important it is to encourage each other in worship. Um, I've seen a couple of friends recently that are so driven by their desire to follow Jesus that um, every word's Every other word seems to be um, something about God or how God's leading them or how they're reflecting on um, what uh, God might be doing in their life, um, talking about what they're praying for and what they're waiting for God um, to move in. And it's just so encouraging to be around people like that. And I want to be like that, you know, and, and I see them in this passage as well. I see that same characteristic, you know, these generations that are um, proclaiming uh, the praise of God to the next generation. Um, one generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. So I think the first thing that this psalm calls me to pray for is is myself and actually to ask God to, to fill me with um, his spirit, to set my heart on fire for him again, um, to pursue him and to uh, follow him and to let my desire for him overflow into my conversations with people and into the way that I worship and how I encourage other people um, who are trying to follow him as well. And the second kind of thing that I feel like it calls me to pray for is um, is those generations within our community and thinking about parents and um, grandparents and thinking about youth leaders and thinking about um, other kinds of leadership and even just um, the kind of generational diversity that we have in the church, just praying that we would be a community that um, speaks to one another about the the, the, the deeds of God and, and the things that we've seen him do that um, encourages one another to worship him, that whose worship life is, is marked by that um, desire to encourage one another to point our eyes to Jesus and to worship him. So those two things, pray for ourselves about um, as, asking for God to fill us with his spirit and give us a desire to um, to tell others about him, I guess. And the second thing is um, to pray for the uh, multiple generations within our community that we would be um, encouraging one another and blessing one another, um, particularly uh, parents blessing their children and um, you know older people blessing the young and the young blessing the old and 
um, learning from teenagers and learning from kids. Um, so yeah, I hope that's encouraged you to think about how this psalm can lead you to pray, and I'll see you soon.